Hello. How's everybody today? Okay, I'm gonna move my camera, sorry. Anyhow, um, today I would like to share with you guys my new toys that I got from Tuesday morning. So I've been playing with my toys, making sure that I know how to play them because I'm really bad in like reading directions. So I had to like watch videos and all that good stuff. Anyhow, what I'm gonna feature today that I'm um, using I'm gonna be using my new um, trim and score board by We Are Memory Keepers. This is nothing different than what I've already had. The only difference, and I thought this was the new, new one from CHN, but it's not. I don't think it is. Please comment down below if you're familiar with what I'm saying because I would like to know and I would I want to be wrong because that's the only reason why I bought this scoring, scoring board. Anyhow, in my understanding, the difference of the new scoring board is this system right here, which is this is different. This, this is the same. So I don't think that this is the one. So, But I'm not complaining because I use my scoring board so many times. It is kind of like my go-to thing. I have, um, sorry, I'm going to move this because of the light. Um, I have this big old guillotine big thing that I rarely use, hence because it's too big, and I craft pretty much everywhere. Like my husband complains about it because I have junk in the bedroom, junk in my craft room, and I can't even craft over there because I have so much stuff. And that's the reason why I don't film in my own craft room, but there will be a time, people, that I'm going to show you my craft room. Anyhow, this is very big, but this is super precise in cutting and super nice. Um, so this is why um, it is not that awesome. But however, though, when you're doing crafting, you're always in a flat surface, not in the bed like I'm normally doing. And then the only difference for me is the color and then the extra blade is attached right here, but everything else is the same so I guess it's white so you can see the scores a little better but if you already have the other one you can buy extra blade for it so it's all I'm gonna say but nevertheless I still love that but the biggest highlight are these DIY goodie bag guides so let me guys show you what I've been making or what I've made so far and I was really enjoying my um, thing. So I made these goodie bags right here. As you can see, these are the scallops. So they are from the scallop ones. So these are 12 by 12 from 12 by 12 thin paper um, and then these are from wrapping papers and I actually use um, glue so you can kind of like see that but I don't mind it I like the rustic look and I use my journaling cards to embellish these bags and it was so fun to make them this is the other one Ta -da! so yeah so I'm here today to show you guys how I use my new toy. So let me show you what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using this um, wrapping paper. There are also papers um, that you can purchase probably online or in the craft store. I'm not sure because they clearance it out at Hobby Lobby and I didn't get them. And I should have gotten this much cheaper at Hobby Lobby, but I was just talking to my best friend. You can't be getting everything, you know? Jeez, you can be super broke. Okay, so anyhow, um, you can purchase that. They come 24 in a pack. I believe they might be $10. Hopefully you can get it cheaper. Let me know if you get it cheaper, like around the maybe $5 um, price range because I'm gonna get them if that's the case. Um, but nevertheless, this wrapping paper is from Michaels and it just has like little um, butterflies right there. And I got this one in a $4 box. 
I think it was Miss Tracy that gave me a bunch of like wrapping paper. So, and that is the reason why I'm very, very excited to got these because I want to stock up on a lot of like those goodie bags so when I need them they're ready for me and so that's it so let me start um, showing you how we do this okay you guys so first of all I will encourage you if you can you have to cut your paper as close as 12 by 12 and I did this. I actually used this ruler to cut it. So, um, and then the first thing that you do, and I'm using the scallop goodie bag right here. Now, the difference between the scallop goodie bag and then the other kind, which is, let me just show you guys, um, the non scallop one. Because apparently it doesn't say right here if they're scallop or not. Um, this guy right here. Um, this one you can you can take it apart, and this one is just like one quick big ruler. I was surprised actually because I wasn't reading it that this one was more expensive than this one. I thought that this one should be because it's prettier. But now that I used it, I figured it out. These ones are able to cut papers into 12 inch, 10 inch, 8 inch, and 6 inches right over here. And then you take them apart because each size has a different combination of what you're going to use. And all of these information are going to be included. Each one of the boxes happens to have like um, a instruction. So it should tell you. So I just wanted to utilize first the 12 by 12 scallop. So the 12 by 12 scallop will have like ridges right here. Let us 12 and then 12. Now, I try to cut my paper as close to 12 by 12 as possible. It is a little bit of a challenge. I get it, but it's part of like the, um, the crafting. So as you can see right here, this is 12 by 12. And then this is the other ridge. I have a little kind of like gap right there. So that's easy to be fixed, but I wanted to see if the other side is 12 by 12. No, this one is a little less. So let's just do the less part. So the first thing that you will do, you will put it kind of like close to the edge, but not all the way to the edge and try to center or make it as even by like centering these because they're not 12 by 12. It's better that it is, but if it's not, it's not a big problem. Now, the idea of this is you're going to tear the paper towards you. So I would recommend that if you are doing it, make sure that you leave a little bit of a gap. And as you can see, I have a little gap right here, just enough for you to tear your paper. So with that being said, we're going to start off with right here. Let me just move right there so you can see I'm on frame. So just stare it, not all the way. So if you kind of like got into that part, I will stop. Because you don't want to just tear it on one side. You have to tear it in both sides so you will get a clean cal scallop um, cut. So trust me when I say this because I have done this and I have wasted paper. So ever so slightly, you don't have to be super um, slow, but then you don't want to be super fast. You have to kind of like feel your paper, unfortunately. So, so there you go. Now, oops, sorry about that. We have some... Um, soundtrack and then you're gonna do the exact same thing now on this process you are able to control how deep your paper is I would like to utilize as much as possible the bag so I am going to just make it enough 
And what I say enough is like enough for me to tear the paper. So do the same thing. There you go. And then tear. Just try to hold the ruler as secure as you can so that you can have a better impression. Perfect, perfect. And you would know if you had a clean tear because of your piece right there. So, all right. So this is what you're supposed to have right over here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this part of the ruler to kind of like create a crease and you're gonna align it to the point right here and the other point on the other side. I am actually a little slanted, so I'm going to try to align that. And so you're just going to do that Create a crease so it's easy for you to connect your pieces. That is the crease that we're talking about. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, right? So, and then crease that paper, perfect. And so now you can use whatever adhesive you like to put this together. If you find that your paper has a little over right there, and that is to be expect, expected because your paper is not a perfect 12 by 12. You can do it two different ways. One, you can do it that way, nobody would know, or you can try to align it, but honestly, I don't think it will matter, so don't sweat it. If you're creating something, the more organic it is, the better it looks. So let me just reach my adhesive. I like using glue just because I'm lazy. For this project, depending on your preference, if you would like a more cleaner professional look, I won't recommend glue. The reason being is because it will have like a little mark to it, but I don't mind because I'm decorating my bag. So, and just press it out and align it. And I'm using the Martha Stewart glue that I got from Tuesday morning a couple of months ago. And then now what I like to do is kind of like select which scallop is like best. And I think this one is better. So the less perfect, that would be what I would um, crease. And you're just going to crease it from like the point here and here so you're going to use your the back of your ruler or the one that doesn't have a scallop and kind of like create a crease so when you put them together it is actually easy to adhere so and then just press and you're pretty much all done if you don't want to decorate it but i for a fact i like to decorate mine so what i would like to show you right now is that you can utilize whatever you like um i have the washi tape that i got right here the other day so i can actually put that in here but do i like that no i don't want to use the washi so I really wanted to use my journaling cards. So I have this bucket full of journaling cards right here. And let's pick something out. So we have a little bit of a bigger thing. So let's see if we can find something in here. And this is your own personal preference of whatever you like. So... Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if this one is cute. Nope. I don't like that either. Maybe I'll use the smaller ones. Hmm. 
Oops. Right there. Let's use that one. I think that that is cute. And we're just going to put that in here. And da -da -da. And you can angle it however you like. What I like to do is kind of like see how I would like to fold this like that. And see, you already have a very cute bag right there. I'll probably still put a little bit of embellishment. Let me see. Maybe I'll put the washi tape now. So... Just to be cute, why not? And you could go with whatever you like on this one, seriously. In fact, I have also some cutouts right here. So, these are papers that I fussy cut so I can use them for embellishments. So, let me see what I can come up with. This is kind of cute. I can probably put this somewhere. Like, oh, nope, too big. Too big. I think I need something a little small. And do this one too. No, too many whites. Hmm. Yeah, I might use these washies just because it gives it a little color. But you can stop from here if you want to. But I have this cute washi right here. I don't know. Nope, I'm going to leave it be. So, yeah, so that is the scallop ones. I'll probably put my rosettes, but who knows. For now, we'll just leave it at that. So that would be this one right here, the scallop one. So this other one is a little bit tricky because this you really you have the ability of like having different kinds of sizes like I said and then in your um, instructions you will find that if you would like a 12 by 12 like the sizes it'll show you the bag and then if you would like to create those certain papers in your instructions you can also find the combination that you can utilize so let me go ahead and try to work on something using this one okay you guys so i have this piece of paper right here and i'm going to try to make a six by six um paper right here you know what maybe eight no i can't can I not? Yep, I can't. So let's just do six by six. So what you do is you just create a six by six paper. But before I cut it that way, maybe I should cut it this way. Okay. So let's see how well this blade is. Seriously, same exact thing. Okay, six by six. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like the sound of that. All right, so that is six by six. Let move. Let us move this baby. So let's go get our ruler. You have a six by six right here, and a six by six would need an A and a D. How would you know? A, C, B, D. So you're gonna take this whole piece out and then put this one together now you happen to have like numbers right here so what you do is you align the six and the six right there and give yourself another space let me turn this around so you guys can see because this paper is a little bit big so and I'm gonna do it this way okay so you're gonna align it on the mark that is six and six, as close as you can. Give yourself a bit of a paper. You can also start doing it this way, which is let's do that, because this is a little bit different. Put your paper on the bottom of your sheet, 
make sure that the whole width is like covered and you're going to tear again do not tear all the way because you have to tear both sides to get an even clean cut and be careful okay so we have that and so now I'm going to just make a tiny bag so I'm going to do this Oops, I got a little carried away. Okay, so now we have this. And so we're going to align, and this is tricky. You're going to align this part and that straight part using the back of your ruler, like so. Perfect. And then the other side as well, like so. Okay. So now you have something like this. Perfect. So now you have a little itty bitty bag that you can put goodies on. So these are also perfect to um, actually use, I think, wax paper. So you can put like little tiny embellishment for packaging for friend mail. So now you have something that looks like this. So I want to show you that this part right here is going to be your flap for closure. And this part over here is going to be your flap for your bottom of your bag. So we're just going to use the back of our ruler again to kind of like close it up like so. And then adhere that with whatever adhesive you like and then you could decorate that and then you're ready to go for your little mini goodie bag so I think what I would like to do with this one is to use washi because they're tiny but you could also use stickers or whatever you want. I'm gonna another attempt to do washi. Why? I do not know. Here we go. Let's see. Let's do darling. And I think it's just so fun to create this because if you can also do this and then give away your gifts, then you pretty much did it all. Isn't that amazing? There you go. So you have like a little cute little baggie right there. So these are like samples of the stuff that I have been creating. The possibility is endless. You just have to play with it and have to make sure that you are having so much fun with it. So I am so happy because I get to use all or some of my um, hoarded materials. And let me know what you think. Comment down below. If you want me to do more tutorials and project shares, I would love to do that with you guys. And thank you guys for watching. Again, these are my new toys, the We Are Memory Keepers Goodie Bag Maker. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.